What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843, back with another vending collection video. We're back at the barbershop location, and I just want to say that the barbershop location, the truck accessory shop, and the laundromat, we obviously have a lot more videos at these locations because we need to come to these locations a lot more often. Currently our cycle is running about every two weeks we're coming to these locations, so that's why our videos feature these locations more than some of the other slower locations like the break and alignment shop or the brewery or even the diesel garage but we've got videos from some of those locations on the way too so if you like our vending and arcade related content make sure you subscribe to galaxy games 843 right here on youtube all right we're getting right into the stocking up of the machine and as you can see we're starting with the drinks now we've got the snapple in there we've got the gatorade in there and keep in mind too but those are always sold out every time we come back to this location. Sometimes they even put a little sold out sign on the front of the machine because people are trying to buy them, but of course they're empty. And that's kind of the one downfall about this uh, Wittern Futura 3589 combo machine is they can see all the snacks that are in stock, but they can't see what drinks are in stock or sold out. So that's probably the one con to this machine, but there's so many other pros to this machine. This machine is a great machine but I don't like the fact that they can't see what's sold out when it comes to drinks in this machine. So one thing that I did have a conversation with the barber at this location while we were stocking this machine up, he asked if we could maybe switch some things around. So notice how many sprites are left. Notice how many Cokes were left, how many Mountain Dews were left. So we're gonna be switching some things around in the next video that we come to this location. I've actually already shot that video. So you're gonna see that probably in a few weeks when we release that next video from this location. We're gonna to have to move some sprites to probably where the Mountain Dew and the Coke is. We'll move the Mountain Dew and the Coke where the Snapple and Gatorade currently is. And then we'll probably put the Snapple and Gatorade down on that bottom shelf because it does have a higher capacity and they seem to sell better than some of the other drinks in those machines. So like I said, if you wanna see that, make sure you stick around because we're gonna have that video in the future, probably the next time that we come to this location. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, with that said, we got the drinks all stocked up. It's time to move on to our snack rows. And if you recall the last time we were here at this location too, uh, the coin mech was looking pretty low. So we did stock up the quarters in this in that previous video. Now in this one, we're gonna stock up some of the dimes and the nickels. So we'll do that as part of the end of the video while we're doing our collections too. Uh, but yeah, back at the top row, things are looking okay. Nothing really sold out in that top row. So there's a couple, um, Salt, I'm not salt and vinegar. Sour cream and onion chips were stocking up there. Those always sell pretty well. The cheeses usually do pretty well. Pretzels, the Wise Originals. The Chex Mix not doing so hot this time around. Um, hopefully next time it should do better. So again, stick around for that next video from this location. We'll see how it did. All right, moving down to the middle row. Looks like the barbecue chips are sold out. Taki sold pretty well. There's one famous Amos cookie left. So this row did pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and get things stocked back up full capacity for this middle stocking row, which includes those barbecue chips, the famous Amos cookies, the mini cookies, lots of Takis, and those wise cheese doodles. And um, I'm still thinking about maybe changing some things around in this machine from things that don't sell as well. Those mini cookies sometimes have great months, sometimes they don't do very well at all. As you can see, the famous Amos did great at this time around, but the mini cookies didn't do so hot. In that upper row, the Chex Mix isn't doing super hot um, very well either. So we might think about switching something out from there. And some of the things that we're, we, we may try, we may try that white cheddar popcorn, the smart food that we've uh, started using at the truck accessory shop. Uh, we might try, uh, who knows, maybe some goldfish crackers, which are similar to the Cheez-Its in my opinion. Um, but uh, put it down in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think might be some good replacements for some of the things that aren't selling as well here in this machine. Maybe we'll try something new out, who knows? Put it down in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are. All right, we've got the Takis about stocked up, the barbecue chips are stocked up, the Famous Amos are stocked up. After we get those uh, cheese doodles stocked up, we can move down to the candy row. And the candy row sometimes has some really, really, really selling well items, sometimes not so much. So we're gonna check that out once we get down to that candy row. So while we're working our way through the rest of this middle row and, and down to that candy row, I do wanna remind you, we do have a deal running with Niax, their credit card readers right now. So if you're interested in getting a Niax credit card reader for your machine, so you can check on your inventory, you can see what your cash flow looks like, all those kind of things. We do have a deal with them right now, where if you go to shop.niax.com, you can actually get a discount on their credit card readers. We use the VPOS or VPOS 
touch credit card readers. Um, you can save some cash when check out, checking out. Use the coupon code GALAXYGAMES843 at checkout to save yourself some cash when you're making that purchase. Again, that's shop.nyax.com with a checkout code of GALAXYGAMES843. Save yourself some cash. All right, we're down to that snack or candy row, and you can see Snickers sold pretty well. Uh, the Skittles usually do pretty well at this location. Uh, particularly the wild berry seems to do even better than the original Skittles. And if you've ever eaten wild berry Skittles, they are quite a tasty treat. I do like them myself. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes I see them on the inventory shelf and I'm kind of tempted. But I haven't succumbed to that. I haven't started eating my own snacks. So that's always one thing that's tough to do when you're a vendor. So guys, put it down in the comments and let me know. Do you ever find yourself attacking your inventory? Well, you know, when you, when, you, when you need a snack or when you're watching TV at night or something like that and you need a snack, do you ever attack your own vending inventory? Uh, it's something I definitely try not to do, but I'm going to be honest. I have been guilty of maybe letting the kids pick something out every now and then or something like that when that time comes. All right, let's go ahead and fill up that coin mech. As you can see, quarters are looking good. Dimes and nickels still low because obviously we haven't filled those up. So I did bring some rolls of dimes and nickels, and I'm just going to go ahead and push them right from the roll into the tube. And it is, you know, these, these rolls are a little bit tight, so we have to push that hard and get it out to make sure that the dimes fall properly into the tube. And I think we can use two rolls of dimes in this case, and maybe one roll of nickels. As you can see, Mrs. Galaxy Games kind of taking over. She's going to assist with getting those uh, dimes and nickels in place while I hold the removable compartment of the coin mech. And that is one thing that's really cool about that coin mech is you're able to pull those tubes out to make it easier to work with. Because previously, before I realized you could pull it out, I was simply feeding each coin into that slot at the top, um, at the top of the tube, and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So luckily, like I said, we, I realized that those can pull out and make it much easier to fill the tubes. And uh, there you go, you can just stick your, your roll of coins down there and push it through so it falls into place and everything's good to go. So we got two rolls of dimes and we're going to go put in one roll of nickels in. And I think that's all we're going to need at this point because I think there were already more nickels in place. So there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think it's nice and full. Lots of quarters, lots of dimes now and now lots of nickels. Yeah, I don't think we can fit another, another roll of nickels in there. Yep, cannot fit. So let's go ahead and put that back in place and then it's time to do our collection. So this is about a two week collection, maybe actually a little bit shorter uh, because we had to move some things around in our schedule. So let's go ahead and check the coins first. And when we report, this is going to include dimes, I'm sorry, dimes. It can include coins, dollars, and credit card sales for our, our two week collection. So some months or some weeks we have really good sales as you could saw from the things that were sold. This one wasn't as big. So total collected for, for bills, coins, and credit card sales. $143.25. Not too bad for two weeks, but definitely could be better, but we'll take it. All right, with that said, we're going to go ahead and lock the machine up, and then it's time to wrap the video up, guys. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone, and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.